<laughs> um, Twitch chat, how how is the how's the music? I know the music in the yog is really loud, um, but compared to the, all the voices, um, I mean I, you, you can hear like the instrument, but can you hear me over it? And you can hear all the people in chat over it? Do I need to, to, to edit some things? It's loud. I'm yelling as loud as I can. Am I, am I, am it's I too good. Quiet? It's fine. The music is great. Are you loud. stage whispering? more loud. So let's put it down <laughs> no. to like eight. Crazy Mike, I can't <laughs> hear you. I can't hear you. You guys are talking not loud enough. You gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna punch everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's being punched. <laughs> Josh, let me get done. I'm just a sandwich. Sounds you good. Do you don't mind Josh. me. I bought the ingredients for a sandwich, and now I have to delay the creation and consumption of the sandwich, but it's for yours. Oh, seriously. that sucks. What are your ingredients for the sandwich, out of curiosity? Man, you got... I bought some leg ham. You got leg I bought ham. some Swiss oh, cheese. Mm -hmm. got leg ham. Hello, I everybody, and welcome to <laughs> the Yog. Oh. I am J Smith OTI. I'm on the internet. I am joined on this excursion of a, of a lifetime adventure land with Rob, Alpaca Patrol. That's me! Thank you. I am also joined <laughs> with the man, the myth, the legend, Crazy Mike. Hey, guys. Yeah, I guess he had a stroke or something like that. And anyways, <laughs> last but certainly not least, we have the, the wonderful, beautiful Prescription Pixel. Don't you inspect otter trampolines now? I am a G. Smith Otter Trampoline Inspector. Yes, I do that on, on the wow. part time. J. Um, Smith Booty Eye. It yes. still cracks me up. Who? <laughs> mar. Marmel. Marmel. Uh, up, down, all around. Thank you for joining J. Smith Town. It helps me a whole lot. Thank you very much. Welcome. Let's, Welcome to J. Smith Town. Hey. Uh, let's, mm. let's, let's, uh, let's, let's pretend that the, the, the town in the Yog is J. Smith Town. All right? That's Perfect. the goal. All right. I always that's, that, actually. that's what we're Something gonna do. Gonna happen. Something Maybe is gonna happen weeks. to Jay Smith Town in six weeks. Um, but anyways, we gotta figure out who we want to be. Uh, and I'm just gonna go in the order that we introduced ourselves, which is probably alphabetical order. So let's start with Alpaca Patrol. Who would you like to be, sir? Can I be Orange Dude? You can be Orange Dude. Yes, absolutely. Um, Crazy Excellent. Gamer Mike. Who would you like I... to be? Would like to be green, dude. You can be green, dude. And uh, prescription pixel. Who would you like to be? You know I'm always blue, lady. Uh, I don't, but I do now. Why is she so <laughs> sad? <laughs> uh, Mike is green. Uh, pixel is blue. Awesome. That leaves me with my favorite red. Wonderful. I am going to press A to start. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. The Yogg will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives, week by week, unaware. Week one, Prescription Pixel! You are up yeah! first, you blue lady! Oh. Where would you like to go? You have a few different options. You have the forest, the arena, the alchemy tower, gardens, palace, tavern, hospital, and last but certainly not least, the slums. Well, let's start from the top. Can we go to the forest, please? We absolutely can. Um, in the forest, would you like to chop wood or hunt? I'd like to... I'd like to chop wood, please. Okay. We are not hunting, we are chopping wood. You spend <laughs> the week cutting down it. trees for the village. <laughs> <laughs> and you gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, miss, would you care to dance? She asks. I've been waiting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. <sighs> now you can respond, I'd love to dance, or you can say, I don't dance. I'd love to dance, You'd though love she is dance. a hoe. She is a hoe, but oh, you love to dance. Damn. You guys twerk in the forest. She, <laughs> giggles, <laughs> she giggles you and takes you by the hand, and she starts humming out a song in the middle uh, excuse me, she starts humming out a song and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You accidentally twerk on her toes several times while dancing. That's never good. <laughs> After the third Throw time, the she stops you. And she thanks you for the dance and limps off into the night. You practice dancing a little and you gain one finesse. <laughs> Ow, I just hit my knee off my desk. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Uh, green. Uh, who is green? That is... Uh, this is me. Crazy Gamer Mike. 
Yeah. Green's not here. Green is not here. <laughs> I'm. My, it's my alternate persona. <laughs> Where Let's would you go like to, to go, arena. Crazy Mike? Let's go to the arena we'll battle monsters. That is that that is a Crazy Mike thing to do. Uh, you want so you want to compete and fight? Is that correct? Yes. Awesome. Although, let's face it, they're not going to be much competition. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. While wandering around the halls between matches, you spot your former Kelly! lover, everyone's favorite, <laughs> Kelly. Kelly! <laughs> An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming to care too much. After a few minutes, Jean... One of the most popular fighters in the arena butts into the conversation. Hey, Kelly. I'm sorry to interrupt. We gotta leave right away. We wanna make it to your mother's in time. I, I, the Kelly is actually uh, Michael Leo Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you say an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? Do you I feel... want to punch him in the face. <laughs> so, uh, you can either <laughs> feel happy for Kelly away. or extreme jealousy. I'm thinking extreme jealousy. Yeah, jealousy. Yeah, yeah. Backstab <laughs> Wonderful. You become extremely grumpy for the rest of the week. Salt is pouring out of every one of your orifices. I should make a show while I'm grumpy. I'll call it Game Grumps. There you go. There you go. You lose <laughs> one charm, unfortunately. Um, ah. But, while you're no fun to be around, you channel your rage into working out. And you gain two physique. Praise the sun. Yeah. Um. Next, we have me. I'm sorry, Alpac. It seems that you are last in this situation. It's all right. <laughs> but for me, I am going to go to the gardens. And in the gardens, I feel like meditating. I think that's a good way to start the week. Um, I spend the week in deep meditation. And I gain one magic and two mind. One day, I come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Um, I can block the sun for the old man, or I can decline. I turn around and I give the sun a middle finger and I block it. <laughs> Ages seem to pass as I stand in the hot sun. The wise and old man sleeping peacefully in my shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours, I begin to feel faint. Gradually, everything grows dark. When I awaken, it is evening in the garden, and an ancient gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. And for witnessing this miraculous event, I gain one magic. It seems a lot for one magic. Yeah, really. Um, but Rob, you are now up, my friend. You can go to the alchemy tower, the palace, the tavern, the hospital, or the slums. Josh? Yes, sir. I think it's pretty clear where yes. I want to go. The hospital. Let's go to the hospital. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Would you like to clean up or tend to the patients? I think I might want to clean up. Yeah? Th Jeez, things, things looking a little dirty in there? This is, a, this is dirty. It's a dirty hospital. I swear, I'll pack up. You spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is as clean as can be. You gain one mind, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, a patient comes into the hospital with sores that nobody's ever seen before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While walking by his bedside, he looks to you rudely and asks for a glass of water. Would you like to get him water or ignore him? Uh, let's get this fine man some water. Okay. <laughs> you, you feel bad. He's got sores. He, you know, you can, right. you, yeah, it makes sense. He requires hydration. That's where sores come from. You're not hydrated, mm -hmm. right? Jay, tell that to my doctor. Clearly, you just gotta dump <laughs> water on the sores. <laughs> <laughs> you bring him a small glass to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, swigs it around, and then proceeds to spit it right in your face. What a piece of poop! I know. <laughs> After cleaning up, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting at you. That night, when you get home, you feel dizzy. And start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. You gain three magic, but you lose three mind. No. I know. <laughs> vivid hallucinations around about wizards. So that means did he like go on a LARPing fest with like three ghosts that don't actually exist? I want it's that like... to be a thing. One, I want ghost LARPing to be He's a video game. running around with ghost I... Dumbledore and ghost Gandalf. <laughs> like, tell me what to do, ghost Gandalf. <laughs> ghost <laughs> Running around town. Gandalf the can ghost. I, posit, I like can, it. Can I posit that I kind of really want to do LARPing one time? Oh, like, me too. Me too. I really, I really kind of, I, I think I would get into it. 
Right? It would be sweet. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd be kind of sweet. All right. They say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole. It stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Ghost Kappa, week two, prescription pixel. Where would you like to go? Hi, can I copy you um, and go to the gardens mm-hmm. in order to meditate deeply? Please? You're going to copy me and do exactly like I said. Going to be a copycat. All right. Uh, you spend the week in deep meditation. And you gain... Ghost up. <laughs> <laughs> you gain one Sorry. magic and two mind. One day, an old woman approaches you. There's a whole lot of old people in this in this uh, forest or gardens. <laughs> I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would you be oh, interested in purchasing them? Uh, would you like to, to purchase the beans or say no thanks? Do I have money? You oh have... yeah, I went hunting, didn't I? So. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I chopped wood, so I'd have money from that. Yep. <laughs> wood. Can I buy the bean, please? <laughs> of course you could. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> you went to the forest and got wood. <laughs> last week, last week I got wood. This week I got bean. There you I go. I mean, you did dance with the lady. Story of my life. Yeah, beans and wood. Anyways. You spend one wealth on the beans. Later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the beans. Later, you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. That's it. Sorry. (gasps) (laughs) It's great. Crazy Mike, where would you like to go, sir? All right. I fought other people, and now I'm going to fight my thirst. (laughs) Yes. The tavern. (laughs) Crazy Mike's going to the tavern to drink or bartend? I'm going to drink. All right. You spend Crazy Mike the entire week getting wasted. And because of it, you gain two charm and one physique. One day, while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. Would you like to go outside or stay in the bar? Go outside. All right. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people carrying torches and pitchforks. Kill the dryad, they chant in a sort of synchronized kapoth. Cacophony? Cacophony? Cacophony. I don't know what cacophony yeah. is. It's like a bunch of sounds. What they're doing. A lot of, oh, lot they're cacooing. Cacophing. Yeah. <coughs> it's a cacophony. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 It's nothing to do with coughing. Oh. All right. Anyways, <laughs> they are all <laughs> running in the middle of the town. Working your way through the mob, you find a dryad running away. Is this I'll, the dryad I danced with? I was just looking for someone to dance with. How can she, she run? <gasps> <gasps> oh, what have I done? Dryad. You shout at the top of your lungs for the crowd to stop what they're doing. Your words fall on deaf ears. You see the dryad getting on, getting set on fire and prodded with pitchforks. Oh, oh no! Shit! Oh no! Fuck! That's messed up. That I've never seen that before. I've never I've seen, never that, seen before. that either. Never seen Pixel, that. if only you didn't step on her feet so many times, she probably would have been able to run faster. Pixel, what you know? am I doing there for everybody? <laughs> that was fire. You murdered the oh, dryad, man. Pixel. And she's never gonna dance again. Uh, <laughs> I'm, she's never gonna live again. She's yeah, not Stop. <laughs> she will never photosynthesize anymore. Uh, I'm going to go to the hospital. Uh, and I am going to clean up. Wait, 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 sorry, I've never seen that one before and I'm not actually watching. Did did anybody get anything from it? Was no, there any stats? I, I didn't did get anything. I just, get no, no, just went outside and saw some, uh, you know, dryad. Uh, he, he, had a, he had a chance to use uh, his charm, but it didn't work. Fell on deaf ears. That sucks. You spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is as clean as can be, and I gained one mind, one physique, and earned myself one wealth. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried convincing him to stop, but to no avail. Now, I can try to decipher what he's saying, or I can sing to him. I'm going to try to decipher what he's saying. I have eight mind. I think maybe I can get a little bit somewhere with it. Um, I listen to his piano keys, but I can't quite work out what he's saying. His sound gets progressively sadder and sadder. That was it. This is this is getting depressing, guys. This is really sad. <laughs> Nothing. It's the bad. worst run we've had, and it's only week five. I don't think I've ever seen that one either, actually. Uh, I've seen I've seen the piano key one. I don't fail yeah. very often, I don't think, but I don't know. Rob, it is your turn, sir. Well, since leeches aren't available, I guess I'll go beat people up in the arena. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to compete in fight or bet on a fight? I just I want to beat some people up because I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Just <laughs> someone just spit in your face and now you're mad. 
Exactly. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. Over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more spiral-shaped sores all over your body. One day, the sores begin glowing a vibrant blue. You feel your magical powers grow even stronger while your mind slips further and further. You gain three magic. You lose three mind. In no time, the sores are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you asking you if you're alright. Alright? With one glance, <laughs> you set him aflame. Then you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood coats the ground as you walk about reveling in your destruction. And you black out. But when you come to, you're at home in your bed. And your sores it have just faded. Gets better and, better, doesn't it? and you feel like <laughs> disease symptoms have passed. Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. Maybe I'm the guy who burned the dryad. Uh, Packer, yeah. you destroyed my arena. <laughs> <laughs> you will feel the wrath of Crazy Mike. <laughs> He's real uh, crazy. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth <laughs> shook. The air went still. Week three, prescription picks. So you can go anywhere except the arena because Alpaca Patrol decided to destroy it. What happened to you, Robert? <laughs> Um, can I go to the slums and pickpocket, please? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because I feel that we need to add some good to this world. Right, yeah, we're just destroying <laughs> Jay Smith Town. With piece by piece. Burning dryads, <laughs> knocking down arenas, now I'm going to steal from the poor. Mm -hmm. You spend the week performing petty theft, and you gain one himself. wealth and two finesse. GG, you scum. One night... A small child approaches you with his hands cupped and outstretched towards you. He doesn't say anything, but he looks up with you with wide eyes, waiting expectantly. Would you like to give him your only coin, or ignore him? Of course, I'll give him my coin. You give what kind of thief are you? I said still from children. You're not stealing from him. You're just not giving I'm a terrible it to him. thief. I'd spent all week pickpocketing and I got one coin. That's a good point. Was I taking? You toss him your sack of one coin. <laughs> My sack of coin. Your sack of coin. <laughs> sack of your coin. coin purse. You lose one wealth. He thanks you and walks away. The next night you recognize him on the street. You spot him eating what looks like a fresh loaf of bread. He sees you and smiles. You feel good about yourself. And you gain one physique, you gain one finesse, you gain one mind, one charm, one magic, and that's it. The boy turns around and laughs and says, sucker. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. Do <laughs> then he gets in his limousine and drives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crazy Mike. All right. Okay, so we've fought other people and we fought first. Now it's time to fight defenseless critters. <laughs> You're hunting. Yes. You go to the forest and you hunt. You spend the week hunting various defenseless critters. <laughs> you gain two mind and sell the pelts for one gold. Or you gain two finesse. Is that what I said? I said mind. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, one day you hear a howl nearby, followed <gasps> by the rustling of leaves. Would you like to run <gasps> for it or are you going to stand and fight? How much of the town's going to be left? Pardon me, Crazy Mike? I'm going to fight that guy. You're going to fight him. Yeah. Fight. You raise your weapon, ready to fight whatever it is out there. A blur leaps onto you and bushes and knocks your weapon from your hands. You throw the beast off you and make a run for it. And you get away safely. You gain one physique. <laughs> I'm the greatest. GG. You you bested the uh, the beast of the forest. Nice. Nice! Uh, I am going to go to the palace. Uh, in the palace, I'm gonna tend to fancy ball. I like I like balls. I like how my character looks. He's very strange. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am That's gonna go straight on Twitter. I am gonna Twitter quote oh. the shit out of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is Was it I like or I love balls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Balls. <laughs> I like balls. <laughs> I like balls. I like balls. <laughs> Damn it. It God. gets funnier each time somebody repeats it. God damn it. I like balls. Oh, I get it. Balls. Balls. I get it. I love balls. I'm going to favorite my own 
<laughs> That's what just happened. Wow. <laughs> game design. Oh, I'm sorry. Game design. Uh, oh, fuck it, draw. You did it in all caps. You spend. I spend the week attending <laughs> fancy gatherings. <laughs> It's getting so upset Fancy about ball balls. gatherings. I gain two charm and one finesse. <laughs> one day, even the king approaches me. He likes balls as much as I do. Uh, he loves balls. Excuse me. To his wife. But you like you look like someone who I can confide in. He says, "I really want a prince to take over the throne, but uh, the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom." He blushes a little. Do you have any advice on how I could <laughs> romance the queen, so to speak? Wait, it comes to me? You think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a slut? You think I just do anything for, for money? You're absolutely right. I'm going to teach the king my ways. Um, I spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. I bet now he'll have the best <laughs> balls. He's going he's gonna to love balls as much as me. <laughs> He thanks you and hands me a large sack of coins as a reward. Oh god, it's killing me! I gain three There's wealth. so many retweets! Later he that night, well. I get a sinking feeling that you might have actually made things worse. <gasps> you made his balls worse, Jason! <laughs> Even your sack made his balls worse. Oh, Josh. Large sack. <laughs> If you're somebody who loves balls so much, you sure don't give good ball advice. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> J Jen's, Jen's just yeah. a Twitter picture if you've ever seen it. I like it, it was really funny. I saw I saw Jen post it with just you two, and then like like us one second after that went up, I posted mine, and just immediately she deleted it and posted <laughs> the <people. laughs> <laughs> oh god, let's go get drunk at the tavern, Josh. Okay, hold on, I'm just retweeting every single fucking person that does okay, other good. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to bartend or drink in the tavern? Ah, uh, let's get hammered. Alright. You spend the entire week <laughs> getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day, an impromptu drinking contest is held. Would you like to enter or spectate? Uh, I would definitely like to enter. I like balls. It's not like I balls or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you down pint after pint, drinking <clears throat> as if your life depended on it. After your drinking frenzy, you take a quick look around and notice you're the only one conscious. You clumsily nice. take the cash prize and make your way home. And nice. You earn two wealth. GG. Wow. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen anyone win that. You are the but greatest man. Once. You know, you know, you know what the best part is of all everything that's happened right now? The balls. The <laughs> yeah, the I like balls Obviously, tweet balls got me three more followers. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If so, someone remind me to name this when it goes on YouTube, uh, the you know, episode, whatever, I like balls. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, the, 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 the music's getting creepy now, so I gotta put on my serious voice. <laughs> and then the world was a howling fury, chaos and screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Alright, week four, we're back. Um, prescription yeah. Pixel, where would you like to go? <laughs> oh, Christ knows. What, where's, where's still an option? Everywhere but the arena? Everywhere but the arena. <sighs> How much mind do I have? Uh, you have 8 Physique, 9 Finesse, 8 Mind, 6 Charm, 7 Magic, and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. <laughs> Thanks. Um, uh, I, I, I gotta chop some more wood, actually. You're getting more wood. I'll get, you like balls. I like balls. I like, <laughs> I like balls, you like wood, we're, we're perfect. Um, you spend perfect the week combo. cutting down trees for the village. And you gain 2 Physique and earn yourself 1 Wealth. One day, you come across a group of people in the woods. From the expressions on their faces, they appear to be lost. Yeah. Would you, Prescription Pixel, like to rob them with your pickpocketing skills, or would you like to help them? Um, um, did you say I had like nine finesse or something? You have nine finesse. Can I help them, please? You sure can. You confront the group and try to help them find their way back to town. With ease, you lead everyone back to town. Yeah! Go me! <laughs> You're really excited <laughs> about that. 
I, yeah, I, I only saw this for the first time the other day and I failed before, so I'm really happy. <laughs> well, you're in luck because they are extremely grateful. The group gives you a small token of their appreciation. You gain two wealth. Congrats. Yay! Do I not feel good about myself and gain like some charm or anything like that? Nope, you got wealth. No, you Fucking gotta give little kids. People. The rich get richer. You gotta richer. give little kids money for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crazy Mike, where would you like to go? Uh, if you would like to run down of your stats, you have eleven physique, eight finesse, five mind, six charm, five magic, and one wealth. All right, so I fought people. I fought my thirst. I fought defenseless critters. Now let's fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy so much. Uh, you go to the you get slums. very fixated on a theme, don't you, Mike? Last time it was drinking. It was drinking, yeah, all the drinking. <laughs> drinking and fighting. Drinking and fighting. Drinking and fighting. All right. Uh, you, you're, I love your character's fighting design, though. It's, it's amazing. Uh, you spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals with your, with your sweet green mask. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One day, while wandering the slums, you notice that the stones that used to line the roads seem to have a certain pattern to them. <gasps> you don't manage to figure out the mystery, <laughs> but you still feel pretty smart for noticing the patterns on the tiles. For fuck's sake. You gain one mind. Prescription pick <laughs> I've never seen is, how that is works. My guy's, is my guy's super Months, drunk I've been waiting for that. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is my turn. It is my turn. I'm going to go to the Alchemy Tower. And in the Alchemy Tower, I'm going to brew a potion. I spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. I gain two magic and one mind. One day, an artificer stops by uh, for a oh, visit. Sorry. She is adorned <laughs> with magical gadgets and gizmos <laughs> and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists <gasps> of the tower Guys. all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. Josh, look at Dracula Fetus's tweet. I can't right now. As oh. she is leaving, <laughs> she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. Uh, and it wasn't me, so I, I, I lose everything. So. Well, you, you interrupted me. Well, no, you interrupted <laughs> me, actually. Oh, get the artifact. Well, uh, tip yeah. the tat. Look at the Dragula picture. Fetus, I oh. love this man. Look at the picture. Uh, it's Ghost Gandalf. Ghost Gandalf. Oh, shit, that's amazing. Yeah, I know, look at it. <laughs> Ghost Gandalf. I guess Ghost Gandalf. Uh, I don't, put that uh, image up the stream. Fuck uh, the artificer, Ghost Gandalf. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right, hold on. Uh, you trying to figure out how to put it up on the stream? I think it's over here somewhere. No. Uh, yeah, it's like add an image. Uh, no, I can't go over. Uh, you can't go over the York. That's fuck it. Uh, the <laughs> stream, you guys aren't gonna see it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyways, losers. Uh, week four, <laughs> Rob. Um, no, yes. Where would you like to go? What What is happening in that yeah. picture that you have it's on just... the stream? There's some a bunch of dildos just... and some booze butts. <laughs> what? That's what that looked like. I don't know what that was. Anyway, let's go to the gardens. Okay. Uh, in the gardens, would you like to landscape or meditate? Um. Manscape or meditate, excuse me. Yeah, well, definitely. I'm, I'm going to do some manscaping in the gardens <laughs> where everyone can see the glory. <laughs> All right. You spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, while in the gardens, you notice a beanstalk. Would you like to eat it or water it? Oh, uh, let's water it. Yeah, stop that. I'm going to water the beanstalk. Yeah, if plants could express emotions, it'd let you know how delighted it is to be watered. No, but all. it can't, so it just sits there. Yeah, it just kind of it no. synthesizes. That's I it. always imagine it with a little smile. <laughs> it probably does have a little <laughs> smile. Well, I mean, it's a big swan. <laughs> I mean, he probably he probably like cut a smile into it. Like he watered it, and he was like, something's missing. He just cut a smile it. in <laughs> your face, make the world a better. That's that's the Joker's version. Virgin. Virgin. <laughs> the Joker's the Virgin. Joker's Virgin. All right. Don't. Vir Joker's Virgin. Creepy That's music's a good, back. Uh, card game. <laughs> when it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Week five. All right, we're back. Uh, prescription pixel. Where would you Hello. like to go? Everywhere but the arena. Um. Oh, I could go. I could go check out that beanstalk that we just grew. Yeah. You can I the, do that? You want to go to the garden? Yeah. Can I go to the gardens and landscape, please? I want to see what happens. Sure. 
You spend the week maintaining plants in the royal garden, which means uh, apparently cutting bushes to look like giraffes. You gain <laughs> one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. That's one nice. day, you notice a glowing beanstalk in the corner of the garden. When you get closer, everything flashes white. <gasps> the beanstalk transformed into a small gnome. Uh, the that's gnome? the last thing I expected to happen. <laughs> The gnome thanks you for freeing him from the magical seeds. And as a reward, he offers you a choice between the following. The blessings of the tangible or the blessings of the cerebral. You have so 11 physique, 10 finesse, 8 mind, 6 charm, 7 magic, and 4 wealth. Wait, so how many mind do I have? 8. And the, what, what's a blessing of the tangible? What does, what, what, what's tangible? It's like something that you can feel or touch or see, I think. Yes. So what, how is that going to translate probably like, to... That's probably like physique or something like that. Or finesse. I'm pretty good on those, aren't I? So I could I could go for go for gold. Should I, should I get some blessings of tangibleness? Tangibility? It's your, it's your choice. The choice is yours and yours alone. Tell that gnome I want him to tang me. You want blessings of the tangible, not the cerebral. Okay. <laughs> <Tange me. laughs> you gain three physique. You gain three finesse. You gain yes. three wealth. Fuck. Well done. Wow. Well that done. was a good day. Sorry, Rob. You put all the effort into watering the plant and making it all I know. Else. Well, you did it's plant it. Good. Rob watered it. I did plant it. That's a good point, yeah. Mm. I, it's I, like I, somebody, I tended to your... To it's your, like if somebody were a... It's like if somebody were to steal somebody's purse, and some guy would go over and get in a knife fight with the guy to get the purse back, and then some guy walking by is like, "Oh, a purse," and just gives it back. Like she's like, "Oh, thanks. Here's like a hundred dollar reward for giving me back my purse." That is a complex analogy. I have no idea what you said. I, I, I literally, I blacked out <laughs> while you were saying the money? words. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Sorry, Mike. Can I have hundred dollars? I'm so confused. <laughs> Something about crazy might give people hundred dollars. Right, right. so. I fought people. Bear Taffy. Bear Taffy. I fought my thirst. Crazy Mike, where would you like to go? I fought innocent creatures. Yep. I fought crime. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to fight germs in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Crazy Mike, you go to the hospital cleanup. Yes. You spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is as clean as can be. You gain one mind, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, and I, I need you guys on this one, you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Ooh, Ooh. Whoa. I am a spooky sound. Whoa, this floor <laughs> is slippery. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. No problem. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. A is ghost Gandalf is never late. <laughs> See early. She you seems to be wandering the halls back. aimlessly, howling out horrible noises, if you guys want to. Oh, <laughs> Ow, I stopped my toe. <laughs> she doesn't appear to realize that she is freaking everyone out. You decide to do something about it. Would you like to talk calmly to the ghost or vaporize the ghost with magic? Uh, what are my stats? Uh, you have 13 physique, 9 finesse, 8 mind, 6 charm, 5 magic, and 2 wealth. Wish I could just punch the ghost. I think I'm strong enough to punch things that aren't actually there, so. Yeah. But, uh, I guess I'm. Well, we want to fight it. Obviously, we want to fight it, so we're going to use vaporize, even though it's probably not going to work. Okay. With a wave of your hand, you fire off a magic bolt. The bolt passes right through the ghost. Turns out your magic isn't as strong enough uh, to affect the incorporeal beings. Nobody can figure out any other way of getting rid of her. Eventually, everyone gets used to her and learns to live with the creepy ghost. Way to go, guys. Chad's Sometimes you just gotta live with the creepy ghost? Yeah, just I like live that. With the Chad's telling me I should have just used the transient curse. That's probably a good idea. You should That's have used the transient idea. curse, yes. Absolutely. Uh... The, uh, she wants the D. <laughs> the, 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 the ghost wants the D. Yeah. Uh, the ghost D. It's like That's that ghost in uh, Ghostbusters. In yeah, it is there like the go. ghost in Ghostbusters. There you go. Yeah, um, see. I haven't gone to the, uh, to the tavern yet, so I'm going to do that. Uh, in the tavern, I am going to bartend. Everyone drinks in the tavern, but I always want to. I want to serve the alcohol. Uh, I spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. 
I earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. One day, a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. She offers to read anybody's fortune for a small sum. Uh, I don't like fortune tellers. I like, I like to live my life day by day. In the rest of my day, I just watch the fortune teller from afar. As she showers each of her customers with promises of wealth and love. I feel like skipping out was a good choice. And I gain one mind. That's a good idea. Mr. Alpaca Patrol. Well, uh, what do we have we have got the Alchemy Tower of the Forest, uh, the Palace and the Slurms. Mm hmm. Hmm. Why don't we go fight... Oh, man. What, what can you use money on? I guess, you know what? Let's go to the slums and let's uh, fight some crime. There you go. There you, you go. You go to the slums and then you fight crime. You spent... I like your character's outfit, too. I like everyone's character. I like I like I every know. art, really. That's just, that's My character's just... really good, though. It's, like, yeah. way better than everybody else's. So yeah. Whoa. Like, Totes and groats. Just the guy doesn't even there. have a mask. I, mean, I don't on. know what a groat is. You spend the week <laughs> outsmarting and beating up groats. You gain one mind, <laughs> one physique, and one finesse. One night, that's... a man Wait, walks up to you. Uh, Excuse me, sir. It could be a, could be a scroat. It could be a scroat. A goat scroat. <laughs> I hear Josh likes those. Goat, scrot, and boogie. Oh. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Anyways, a man walks up to you, Rob. And he yeah. says, excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely tonight? He asks. For <laughs> only a small sum of coin, I can make you feel good all night. Now, you can say sure for two wealth, or you can say no thanks. Um, I'm going to go with an F to the yeah. So you want to say sure to the creepy man? Yeah, let's I don't do think it. I've ever seen anybody say yes to this, actually. So I'm ready. You hand him a small <laughs> sack of coins. You lose two wealth. That's not the only sack I hand him. On your way to your house, you start. Uh, <laughs> wait, on the way to your house, you start about talking philosophy, history, magic, everything really. The two of you have an amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. You gain two mind and one charm. The man apologizes for the lack of sex, but thanks you for the chat. He refunds you back of half of what you spent, and you gain one wealth. GG. Nice. Well done. Well done. The Yog. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Uh, Prescription Pixel. Hello. Uh, where would you like to go? This is week six. Someone's microphone's yeah. going mental. Yeah, I heard that. I think it might be Rob. I think it's, it's Rob. Rob. I think it's Rob. He's 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 okay. a robot. Beep boop beep boop. He's he's trying to send a <laughs> message. We'll just we'll too. we'll continue on. He's at least he's last, so maybe he he'll can, fix it. He can talk in the in the chat. He can okay. request it. Yeah, we'll get um, that. Oh, where where can I go, please? The Jason forest, the alchemy tower, the gardens, the palace, the tavern, the hospital, or the slums. Um. I haven't been to the tavern yet. You have not? Would you like to go there? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you should totally go to the taverns. It's not like I missed anything or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rob, you're back. <laughs> Adam, right, you're up. What happened when I when I let that guy touch my sack? Ah, gotcha. You just talked to him all night, and then you learned stuff, and he gave you half your money back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dude. He was really he nice. He was a really too. nice guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess I was pretty good he, in the sack. I'd say my words at the same time. <laughs> he touched you and then uh and then you turned into a robot. Oh, that's awesome. Beep, boop, yeah. beep, boop. <laughs> then you had to go to a mine and go to the forest and then the ice caves and the temple and then Um a mine. Uh anyways. <laughs> she was turd prescription pixel. Would you like to bartend or drink? <laughs> Did you just call her a turd? No, whose turn is it? <laughs> whose who's turd is it? <laughs> it's like you walk into the bathroom, like you see like poop in there. It's like whose oh, turd is this? You said I was beautiful. Now you say I'm a turd. You're so inconsistent. Sorry. He just thinks turds are beautiful, I guess. Yeah, I've uh, I often look at my uh, fecal matter and think that is a thing of beauty. God, I ate something amazing. Man, today. I am so good at what I do. <laughs> what Pandora's box have I opened now? The, the turd one. Uh, the turd box. Yeah, you definitely never want to open the Pandora's box, box filled with turds. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Pandora's just turds. Just infinite turds just shoot out of the box forever. So much yeah, well, I mean, They just have a fan in there. They just have one of those big ceiling fans in the Pandora's box with a bunch of poop. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Anyways, prescription pixel. Would you like to bartend or drink? Well, after that, I'm gonna need a drink. You are probably. Get over <laughs> yeah. You spend the entire week getting wasted to drown your sorrows and turds. You gain two <laughs> charm and one physique. One day, a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and has ruined uh, the tavern's atmosphere. <gasps> I've got so much finesse! You decide to do something about it. You can convince him to leave or challenge him to a loot duel. How much charm have I got? You have eight charm. And you how much finesse have I got? You have 13 finesse. Oh, we're going to challenge him to a duel, God. <sighs> God damn you, Loot Man Bard. Loot Man Bard. <laughs> I am Loot Man Bard, son of a drum Loot man bard. Loot Man Bard the <laughs> Loot, Loot Man, man Bard. Loot Man Bard, bard coming to play at your town. Loot Man <laughs> Bard. You borrow the bar owner's loot and challenge the bard to a musical duel. You play out a beautifully complex combination of arpeggios. The tavern roars with applause. The bard tries to his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. You gain one finesse and one charm. That was a bit sad. He broke his loot because he wasn't yeah. very good at it. Yeah. <clears throat> now I feel bad. You, you made him my... give up on all of his dreams. He's like, I spent my entire childhood doing this. And that's some guy who just walks up who's never played before and destroys me, and I do so bad my loot's broken. He just jumped. I'm just gonna. <laughs> he I've jumped off so the Alchemy Tower. I am just going to go and Dry jump out. into a well of leeches now. Yeah. He jumped off the Alchemy Tower into a well of leeches, <laughs> where there was a potion about to explode. He landed in Pandora's turd box. <laughs> uh, crazy Mike, where'd you like to go? All right, so I fought people. I fought thirst. I fought crime. Oh, wait, I also fought critters. And I fought germs. Now it's time to fight unemployment. <laughs> let's, go to, let's go to the palace and work. <laughs> Crazy Mike does administration work. <laughs> he spends the week doing paperwork for the palace, making sure that everyone is employed, even himself. <laughs> Crazy Mike, you are paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day, you hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace, they scream. There's a massive panic as people try desperately to escape the palace's walls. Would you like to locate and disarm the bomb or run away? I only have five magic, but I got this. I'll punch through the magical force field I know that's going to be there. So locate and disarm the bomb. Yeah. You Never run deeper into the castle this. trying to figure out where the explosives are hidden. You manage to find them in the wine cellar disguised as barrels of wine. The bomb appears to be a detonator that is controlled by a powerful <laughs> magic. You realize immediately that you won't be able to figure it out and get out of the building as quick as you can. Sorry, I was laughing at Rob's <laughs> gift, not the fact that the palace is about to be destroyed along with hundreds of people. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, murder! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, great day! <laughs> that gift is too good. <laughs> You're almost out when the bomb goes off. There's a huge explosion that knocks you through a wall, and you lose one physique. Crazy Mike. Dude, you, you, the, the arena is broken, up. and so is the palace. You should have just drank all the wine. I'm sure it was like explosive wine or something like that. Should have. Should have. Should have. I'm going to go to the forest. Uh, <gasps> in the forest, I'm going to uh, chop some wood. I bet you are. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I like <laughs> balls, so I figured the next best thing is to chop wood. <laughs> uh, I spend the week cutting down trees for the village. I gain two physique and earn myself one wealth. One day, I stumble upon a corpse hanging from a tree. What? Oh, Carved into the tree, it is written, Maybe somebody in the afterlife will appreciate my beautiful melodies. Underneath oh, the tree lays a broken loot. Oh, no. No! Oh, no! Pixel, you, you made him kill himself! Him. Pixel, you literally killed this man. Oh, right, I killed the fucking dryad and now I killed the bard! I suck! Wow, you've driven wow. two creatures to suicide. Wow. Shit! Pixel, you're the worst person. What's next? You're gonna be the town looter? Oh my fucking god. Hell. I'm gonna, bur I'm gonna bury this body. I'm this gonna happen. This is so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I cut the corpse down from the tree and bury him in a shallow grave. That was a lot of work. I gained one physique. Ew. <laughs> That's so famous. Uh, oh last but not God. least, in Pixel the depressing... Pixel was literally Hitler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Jesus. I mean... Oh um, Someone put me down. Uh, uh, Alright, we well... Talk... We were talking about him even just committing suicide after that horrible thing, and he died. And he, he did. did. He killed yeah. himself. It's, I mean, it's, well, it's all fun and games that. until he actually does it. Oh my god. <laughs> Christ. Well, uh, to really, to raise our spirits, why don't we clean up at the hospital? Nope. Okay. Oh yeah, and then I bet the leeches will get out. Yeah, we're our spirits be so raised. You spend the week <laughs> stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is as clean as can be. You gain one mind, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, while in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. The baby she births, however, is no ordinary baby. The skin is pitch black and shiny and its eyes glow like an orange flame. It wrestles itself from the doctor's hands and tries to fly away. Stop that demon! yells the doctor. Now you can use your strength, or you can use your magic. Your physique is at 12, your finesse is at 8, your mind is at 4, your charm is at 8, your magic is at 11, your wealth is at 4. Hmm. How did my physique get better than my magic since I did that event? Uh, what did that happen? I don't know. Alright, whatever. Let's use, let's punch it to death. Okay. Use you, the strength. Yeah! <laughs> you put yourself between the demon and the exit. You catch the baby and manage to hold onto it while it struggles to break free. Nice catch! You gain one finesse. The nice. doctor runs up with a scalpel and quickly slits the demon's throat. Oh, nice! Jesus. Well, I guess I just murdered a baby. Your mouth goes agape in the doctor's merciless killing of a baby. That's he shrugs brilliant. and walks away. Well... Yeah. Shit. Alright, this is a dark episode of the Yogg. It sure is. Dark days. It really is. Dark days in the balls. I'd love it if <laughs> it turned out to be the good ending after all that. Like, I'd love yeah. it if we could pull through and rescue the town. J. Smith town. It needs it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. J. Smith town's in the toilet. I know. Alright, here it comes. The storm arrives in the night. By morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. Drowns us crushes us, and ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? All right, choose your roll time. Prescription pixel, you get to choose between the leader, the builder, the conjurer, the doctor, smelter, tailor, looter, or the town drunk. Uh, the rundown of your stats goes as follows. The physique is at 15, finesse is at 14, uh, your mind is at 8, your charm is at 9, your s magic is at 7, your wealth is at 7. Um, I just wanted to say that Chitam Chitamonchi just subbed. Chitamonchi! Up, down, all around, Whee! welcome to J. Smith OTI Town. Thank you very much for your support and your continued support of me, as long as in, in your friendship. Uh, raise your OTI watches in Twitch chat. Thank you very much. Um... And I, because I was concentrating on how to pronounce that name, mm -hmm. I didn't listen to my stats. What are the two highest ones and what are they? Uh, physique is 15 and finesse is 14. Pixel, don't be the so, builder. <laughs> have, have you got a lot of physique? Yeah, I like not much of anything else, so. Oh, okay. So I'd may probably make a good leader. Uh, you're that, that's, uh, that's oh, no, charm. I don't have any charm. I don't have any charm. Okay. Well, um, I, I can't Taylor, remember. I think Taylor is finesse. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go for it. Let's be the tailor. <laughs> Metagame, this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you volunteer to weave and mend clothing for the survivors to keep warm. You make, them, you make and mend clothing faster than anyone could have ever expected. Every survivor has now an excessive number of scarves, socks, and hats to keep warm. It's <laughs> probably the most essential part of the rebuilding effort. It <laughs> helps the York, survival like, effort immensely. Scarves. Yeah, it helps the survival effort, effort immensely. Well done, GG. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it back. I'm redeeming myself everyone, after. Everyone, everyone's hate, everyone hates you now because now there's not a bunch of naked people walking around. That is true. Um, Jason, Still doing bad. Chase Tried Midtown, to do there's no nudes, <laughs> which is kind of sad. That's um, not good. Crazy Mike. Okay, so I fought people, yada yada, bing bong boop, you know all the rest. Yep. Now, 
I'm going to fight homelessness. <laughs> you want to be the builder? Yeah, I'm gonna build stuff. All right. It's always something to fight in this world. Crazy Mike, you take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town with brute force. You rebuild homes at breakneck speed, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Well done. Um, yeah, me. Point. I have a whole bunch of sixes and nines, and I can't make that fucking shit up. <laughs> um, but I, 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 it's sad because my highest stat is a 10, which is not a 6, I, or a, nor a 9. Um, but I am going to, uh, be a doctor. Uh, I take it upon myself to help sick and injured from the yog. I'm able to keep most patients stable condition. Some are even able to get up and get back to work in no time. This helps their survival effort quite a bit. And last, but certainly not least, we have our pack of patrol. Uh, well... Is your highest stat 10? Yep. How the <laughs> hell did you manage that? What a scrub. Yes. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody. Welcome to the, my, my stream. Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lizzie has sixes and how did you How did you manage to murder all those innocent people, Pixel? <laughs> how about that? At least I didn't kill anybody. It's like they're just going to hang themselves with all the scarves I made. Yeah, you just help people. <laughs> Um, let me be the conjurer, because I have 11 magic, and someone's already the builder, so <laughs> whatever. So you can be the conjurer. You take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon a large amount of supplies. With some effort, you're summoning more than enough lumber and food for the town. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. And after it's all said and done, we set about our tasks once more living our lives. This time in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... We flourished! Towers hey! once wrecked and ravaged rose towards the sky. Trees again took root and then blossomed. And we all blossomed. And though it took a long while, and though it took a lot from us, our future is bright. Should the Yogg ever return to Jay Smith Town, we will be ready. And we built a memorial for Loot Man III and his broken loot. In the Dryad. <laughs> And the dry And idea. Pixel was thrown into jail. <laughs> <laughs> Never Jesse forget. Out for me. If it turns out really well, then there's no justice in this universe. <laughs> Prescription Pixel. Mm -hmm. After the town is rebuilt, you go back to meditating in the park. You spend weeks at a time sitting in one spot, trying to cross into another plane of existence. After years of attempts and self-sacrifice, you finally manage to cross over the astral realm. You come to find the astral realm is exactly like the normal world, except everyone's eyes are slightly smaller. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guessing maybe people don't realize that you've killed Loot Man. You don't know how to get back home. <laughs> I love that one! You're, you're stuck in small town world. <laughs> I'm, st I'm stuck in a place where people's eyes are a little bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Way to go. <laughs> and by, by contrast, your eyes are bigger, and so you're ostracized, and then, uh... Uh, driven out town, and then you end up uh, hanging yourself with one of the scarves. I can't <laughs> see what's fire. going on on the stream, but I think that you added that bit on the end. Nope. No, yeah, I saw it. It was totally legit. Yep. Yeah, no, that happened. Which chat? Keep me that. honest. Tell her. Um, yep. Anyways. Is he lying? <laughs> Crazy Mike. After the town is rebuilt, you become the leader of a hunting party. You become the town's main supplier of game, meat, and furs. You fight all the critters. You become extremely yes. adept at killing defenseless animals. And one day, you spot a glowing blue fox in the woods. I fight that fox. Upon seeing it, it cackles and runs off. You pursue it for what feels like hours, but to no avail. Capturing the laughing blue fox becomes an obsession for you. You spend every moment thinking of its laugh, even while you sleep. Its cackle feels as if it's burned into your brain. That's it. Sorry, buddy. I'll fight him one of these days. <laughs> well, you, 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 your life goal is now to... You fought everything except the fox. <laughs> what mission. does it say, Josh, though, is what I want to know. It says, don't fight me, bro. Oh, all right. Josh, you've got so many <laughs> dedicated fans. Like, so many people are willing to lie for you. They didn't... They're not lying. You can't... You just didn't see yeah, it. that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I can't... I can't believe you call them liars. Wow. Wow. Insulting my Twitter. Scumbag welcome to, welcome to my stream. I hope you enjoyed first, being on here. You're yeah, gonna make you you kill Luke and <laughs> commit suicide. And then you call the liar. 
Yeah, yeah they're all going to be like, they're all going to have their computer screens broken underneath them while they're tied in a tree and be like, maybe one day somebody will believe me. Prescription Pixel, you, <laughs> you even called Brack the man a liar? The man sleeps and takes Instagram pictures of himself. He's not a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's me. It's me. It's my turn. With the, oh, God. With the town rebuilt, I decide to celebrate. I organize a huge festival in honor of the bravery that helped save so many lives. The first one is so successful, I decide to make it an annual tradition. Every year the festival gets bigger and more elaborate, and every year it costs more and more money to put on. I have to start charging admission and no one is happy about it. The annual festival slowly fades out of relevance, and before long, is cancelled completely. <laughs> <laughs> Before long, Before long, I just I, I wanted to put some funk on it. Well, you, you don't say, you can't say the word long correctly without making it very long. <laughs> Before long, Before long, Before 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 long. <laughs> it is uh, canceled completely. I don't really know what to do with my life after all of that, so I go into the forest and hang myself with a prescription pixel scarf. That's also not. That's in it. That's it. ask Brack the man. He'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Alpaca Patrol. Yeah. With the town rebuilt, you go to the hospital to retake your role as custodian. Your job isn't glamorous, but you make it better by poking fun at the doctors with witty one-liners. <laughs> they often have clever retorts to your jokes, and the back and forth is well placed and punchy. One day, a patient, also a playwright. Ask for permission to write a play about your life, and you happily accept. The play becomes an instant hit, and you become a celebrity for a brief moment in time. You still clean up blood and vomit for a living, however. Hmm. Art and writing oh. by Emily Carroll. Programming design and writing by Damien Summer. Thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. Thank you very much, Alpaca Patrol. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. YouTube.com slash Alpaca Patrol, Twitter.com slash Alpaca Patrol, and watch the hashtag ass every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at Twitch.tv slash Alpaca Patrol. Thanks. You're welcome. Next, we have uh, hashtag Crazy Mike, hashtag of himself. Yeah. Uh, Twitch.tv slash, uh, you've got to fill in the blanks for me, man. Twitch.tv slash Crazy Mike 1991. And I just fought your boredom. So <laughs> these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> it last again, but oh, not fuck. least, prescription pixel. YouTube.com slash prescription pixel. Congratulations on being part of Indie Static. Thank you. That's, I that's, really appreciate that. I'm super excited. That's an awesome announcement that I heard. Go check out her over at youtube.com slash prescription pixel, twitter.com slash rx underscore pixel, and uh twitch.tv slash prescription pixel as well. Thank and you. also on indiestatic.com. Yeah, um, coming real soon. Coming real soon. Thank you all very much for joining me on this marvelous adventure throughout the Yog. I'm Jason with OTI, and I'll check you guys next time. Later. Uh, See ya. Bye. Yeah. Bye. You. And uh, I think that is about to be it for the stream. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play any of that killing floor, Rob. Maybe we could do that at okay, some well, other point. I, I yeah, can't yeah, believe like, right now because <laughs> I was supposed to be somewhere. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks very much, Mike. Mike. I'll Appreciate I'll you guys later. Mike. Sorry, uh, I leave. Yes, Twitch chat. Thank you all very much for hanging out. That was an awesome time, and I love you guys very much for it. Uh, to all the subs, uh, thank you for all your continued support. To anyone who's not a sub, thank you very much for checking out the the show. Anyways, it's been lovely. It's been fantastic. I'm here every uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Absolutely for the the NLSS and the JSSS. You could uh, find all my links and stuff down below, including the uh, the rules of the chat. Anyways. Um, yeah, twitch.tv slash jsmithoti, youtube.com slash jsmithoti, and twitter.com slash jsmithoti. Fun for the whole family. Uh, I am going to play the little J. Smith tune, and I am going to run some advertisements, and then I will be in after here after all of that. So, thank you guys very much, and I'll check you guys next time. Bye! Uh, how do I run ads? Wait a minute. No, town song first. There he goes. Got it. Up, down, on.
Josh. Okay. Do you, Three do you minutes like of bats are going, and then broadcast is over.